What's happening guys? Mixed by Jocelyn here, back with another episode of Mixed Up. And today we're going to be talking about oranges, but not these kind of oranges. No, we're talking about orange clip. Let's get into it. Boom. Okay guys, so let's jump into it. So as I said in the intro, we're going to be looking at the orange clip by Schwab Digital. It's their brand new clipper. It literally came out today. This video is going to come out on Sunday, so it's a few days later, but it is fresh off the printers. I got the email through and I was like, yeah, boom, I have to try this. I want to make a video on it because I absolutely love the gold clip, which to me, on the first look at the plugin, feels like the gold clip is like the bigger, more expensive, older brother of this plugin but that doesn't take anything away from just how powerful this plugin is from the first listen that I gave it. But let's jump into Logic and let's get started. So here we have a project here. We've seen this on my channel already. It's called My Fears by Clue. We're just gonna be looking at the instrumental today, which is produced by a good friend of mine, Young Soul. I'll link all of the stuff below in the description. But what I've set up is on the drums and the 808 and the bass, I have set up a bus with the gold clip on. So we find that now bus nine and i have all of my drums and the 808 just so we can hear exactly what this is doing to it i also have another version on the master but i thought let's just keep it on the drums and the 808 for now because that's nine out of ten times the use form for something like this so here we have, here's the interface, super clean, super simple interface. It's a lot more stripped back than the gold clip version. So you don't have the peak analyzer here and stuff. But to be honest with you, just from using it, I'm not missing it too much. And you know, it's here to do something slightly different, but let's get into it. So let's just have a playthrough with it on and off. AB. Oh, what? That's a big difference. I didn't even realize just I was mixing. I'm mixing quite low, so obviously it doesn't like bleed into my microphone. But just ABing it then, the difference was crazy. Let's AB this again. Okay, now. That's sounding super big. It's making the drum sound overwhelming, which is the kind of vibe and the style that you're trying to achieve when you're using clippers. Well, for me personally, anyway, I want it to really bring out and just like aggressively push all of my bass and my drums and my kick up into the face of the mix and really, really make the listener feel it. That's just me just tweaking, not really even like looking at what I'm doing, but let's break down the plugin a little bit and like the use forms and how you can use it. So over here, obviously from reading the manual, they're saying to gain the clipping, like to actually like level your clipping, you want to basically use your input and your output to balance. And they suggested for like an optimal input and output balance. So like from when it's being clipped to the output anywhere between 0 dB and 3 dB. But you know, you play with it and see how you think. But basically, so we have here, which is our ceiling. So we can set this and move this around. Let's keep it at like 0 0.1 for now. And what we want to do, once we get our signal pushing past this ceiling, anything past that is going to be clipping, right? And then obviously we have our dial here, the orange dial. And this basically represents how hard it's going to clip, how aggressive it's going to be. So all the way down at minus 51.8, that's soft clipping, like it's very, very soft. All the way up at zero, it's extremely hard clipping. You know, it's gonna be very aggressive and you're gonna get like a lot of distortion and a lot of clipping going on. So let's play around with that and then let's like bring our sound up to where it's clipping. So you can straight away hear it. As soon as it starts to peak past that ceiling, you can start to hear the clipping start to engage. Let's turn it up and get a hard clip and see the difference between that. Hard clip. Mate, 
it is the nuts. So you can see just how aggressive you can get it. You know, that old school, really pumped, aggressive sound, you know, perfect for like hip hop, things like that. A super, super, super clutch plugin from what I can see so far. Then what you want to do is just level out the output gain by adjusting this fader here. So we can pull it down and pull it up. But what they were saying in the user manual is the sweet spot is anywhere between a difference between your clipping signal and your output of anywhere between zero and 3 dB. So just bearing that in mind, that's like how the plugin has been designed to be used. But you know, you could totally go off on a tangent and do it your own way. Over here, you have your wet and dry signal. They come like automatically linked. So obviously the more we pull down our wet, the more the dry is gonna come up so you can get a balance and almost like run it in parallel. So as we pull down, that's totally dry. That's clipped. Let's make it a bit more extreme so we can really hear it. unlink them so we can pull down the wet, pull up the dry, have the clipping in there as well, and then link them back. So super useful. You can really play around with it and get like that perfect design. Please ignore the peaking because obviously it is being pushed over, especially when we're messing around with the wet and dries. You can also link the input and output as well. So you're always getting that sort of like optimal leveling. So it's like not adding volume and you're just adding the clipping effect. So we click that and then we play in. And as we move the input up, the output's going to move down. So you're sort of like maintaining that volume, but we're just going to start to get that process clip signal. So it's not adding volume, it's just adding the clipping punched effect, which has its use forms as well. But you know, for me, I'm, I'm going to want to clip it and then I'm going to want to try and push it and get as much volume as I can out of it without it sort of distorting and choking and losing dynamics in the mix. Now, one thing that I did notice is you can oversample on this. As you can see here, it says no oversampling, right? If you either click that or you come into the settings, this box is gonna pop up and this is your oversampling setting section. And it's pretty cool this to be fair because you can choose two options. If you're a bit like CPU wary and you don't wanna like over choke your project and you know, get lag and whatever, the real time quality, you can set it to whatever. And basically high is four times oversampling, pristine is eight times oversampling, extra pristine is 16 oversampling for anyone that's used to the numbers like that. And we can set it to like, you know, if we're a bit conscious of overusing the CPU CPU, we can set it to high, just like four times oversampling. But then what's really useful is the offline quality. So this is basically when it prints and you're not playing it back, like in real time, you could set it to like extra pristine and get the highest quality the plugin can produce. So that's super useful and a really, really interesting feature that this plugin has. So we can now listen to it like that. Let's flick through the different sampling rates. So that's high, i.e. four times. This is eight times. And then finally, we have 16 times. Again, it's all about your ear, what you prefer, and what your system is capable of, but a very useful feature with the plugin that at first glance can be like, oh, is it there, is it not there? Because a lot of plugins nowadays will have it clearly labeled that you can change it, but it's there, you can do it, and it's super, super useful, the fact that you can actually use one oversampling for playback and then a totally other, more extreme oversampling when you're printing offline. So you're not like, as I said, choking your CPU and crashing your projects. So yeah, let's have one last AB of what this sounds like.
super big. I mean, you can see just playing around with it a little bit. Obviously, we've gone quite extreme for the purposes of this tutorial, but you can definitely see just how powerful this plugin can be and the fact that it's cheaper than Gold Clip. And as well, Schwab Digital offer payment plans. So I think you can pay in like 10 installments over 10 months for the plugin. I think this is listed at the moment at like $199. Harry will put the actual price up if I'm wrong. But yeah, really good. I think it's good value for money, especially the fact that you can pay in installments. That's what I'm doing for Gold Clip because I got the free trial of Gold Clip and I was like, damn, I have to use this plugin now on all of my mixes. I'm doing the rent to buy system that Suave Digital offers. So brilliant, brilliant plugin, brilliant service. I can't recommend it enough. And I will uh, leave a link below in the description so you guys can check it out, check out the free trial. Shout out to Suave Digital. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you have any comments, leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe because we're releasing videos like this weekly. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Safe. Boom.